Uh, this vehicle is the Somua SM. This is a French Tier 8 heavy tank, and it is also an autoloader. Uh, this vehicle is a premium tank, which means you get the extra EXP and uh, crew experience. It's free EXP and crew experience bonus. And the extra credits, you can use uh, your heavy tank crew from other French tanks. It is a five-shot autoloader. You can do 1,500 damage in around 8 to 10 seconds, which means that your opponent might only be able to get one or two shots in. Uh, so that's one of the big advantages with this vehicle, and it has a crew of four, which means that there is no loader. I've never played this vehicle. I'm going to say that I think that this is a vehicle that uh, would be fun to play. However, there's other options that you really want to consider before you decide to get this vehicle. So I compared it to this group, the Lorraine 40T, Progetto, Somua, the 7032, the IS-38, and the Bizante. Um, I would say that the IS-3A is definitely one of the best vehicles in terms of this group, in terms of Tier 8 autoloaders, and mostly, uh, you know, we've got four heavy tanks that we're looking at. The Somua uh, penetration is actually the highest. Gold rounds, not so much. The gold rounds are not that much better, but the regular rounds are actually pretty good. Uh, in terms of armor, it's a little bit average. Uh, in terms of heavy tanks, it's actually uh, the lowest of the group, uh, the strongest being the IS-3A and the 7032, and then the Byzante, and then the Somua. And in terms of speed, it is the slowest at 37. So you can see that the statistics are not really going for it. Uh, in terms of the gun, the, all these guns are different. The Bizante is an auto-reloader, and the IS-3A is an auto-reloader, and the 7032 is an auto-reloader. That means that you can either load up a couple shells, either two or three. Uh, the 7032 is two shells, and the other ones will allow you to do three shells. Just going to verify real quick. And once you finish firing your three shells you can fire it as a regular tank. The Somua, you have to wait for it to reload, which could be, you know, 20, 30 seconds. So that's one of the disadvantages with the Somua. Uh, the other issue is that the 7032 is a double barrel gun, which means you can literally do 800 damage in one shot. It's a little bit fun to play. I'm going to tell you, it's not going to give you a huge advantage in the game. You're not going to go around blasting every vehicle for 800 damage, but it's fun to play, and, and I would I enjoy playing that vehicle more than the uh, Samua SM. Uh, the only disadvantage you're going to get with these other heavy tanks is that the penetration value is going to be lower with the regular rounds. The Bizante is not the greatest tank, regardless of what it looks like. Uh, when you play it in-game, you got to be a little bit cautious with it you're probably going to take more damage than you want to. Um, I would say if you had to pick between all these tanks, if you're going to stick to heavies only, go for the 7032 or the IS-3A. Make those your first choices. And then later decide if you want to try something like a Somua or the Bisante. And if you like the Somua or if you like French tanks, consider the Lorraine 40T because it's going to be a little bit faster Let's check out how you're going to get a strong reduction in armor. And if you happen to love autoloaders, always consider the Progetto 46, which is very popular. If you play Frontline, you see large numbers of Progetto 46s, but you will see Somua SMs in the game also. If I get a good deal on it, I do plan on buying it. The price is going to be, the price is usually around $50 US. Uh, in terms of gold, you're talking 12500 In terms of silver, around $5 million. During the auction format, you're probably going to start at around $3 million silver, maybe 8000 gold. Um, and they usually don't do a cash value. Now, how do you equip this? If you are stationary when you fire, you use a gun laying drive. If you move around a lot, you use a vertical stabilizer 
or the improve aiming module. So if you see yourself while you're sniping and there's a tank off in the distance, you're going to unload five shots, you got to use the gun laying drive. The vertical stabilizer doesn't do anything. But if you're really close and you peek out and you fire and you back up and peek out and you fire and you back up, you use the vertical stabilizer. If you go out, you fire five shots and then you back up, you use the gun laying drive. You use the gun laying drive when you are motionless, when you're aiming, and you use the vertical stabilizer and the improved aiming mechanism if you're moving while you're aiming. Uh, the other advantage, of course, is you can use your French heavy tank crew. There are other autoloaders in the French tech tree. So you've got the uh, 5100, the 5120, uh, the AMX 50B, and of course you got the Foshes and the Bat Chats, and this Bat Chat and that Bat Chat, and all the light tanks. Uh, some of these uh, EBRs are autoloaders. Um, these heavy tanks are not. So there are some other vehicles. If you do not purchase a Somua, but you still want the vehicle, you can get the AMX 5100 in the tech tree. You don't have to pay for it. You can earn it. And you get a six-shot autoloader with the same penetration. You can do a lot more damage. So you might want to consider, if you are undecided, just go for the AMX 5100. It's not a premium vehicle, but otherwise it might be a little bit better than that Samua SM. We're going to add it to the comparison. We're going to put it on the top configuration. You will need to do it with top configuration. You can see that the penetration for the regular and the gold is going to be about the same. Uh, the armor is better on the Somua SM. You won't be able to change that. The top speed on the 5100 is 51. So if you don't get a chance to get the Somua, don't worry. You can get the 5100 and you should still be happy. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.